guys welcome back we're going to create a new design on canva i'm going to show you how you can create images popping out of a circle so what you need to do is after creating your canvas you need to go to elements and under elements what you need to search for is you search for circle frame so we're going to pick the frame because that's the frame we're going to be using for this particular design pick the circle frame and after picking that the next thing you want to do is you want to adjust the size to fit exactly how you want and go back and search under the elements still search for circle we're picking the circle that looks empty like just a circle and that is because we want to give our frame a border after doing that the next thing we want to do is we want to upload the images that we'll be using we're going to upload an image with the background and of course a transparent image if you're using canva pro you should be able to remove the background on canva but if you're using a free canva plan what you need to do is you have to get uh maybe a third party to help you remove the background so the next thing we're going to do is after uploading those images the one with the background and the one without the background you want to ensure that you paste them inside the frame which is the circle frame that we did here we have a circle frame that was below before so we had to really reposition it forward so now i can now put the image right inside the next thing i'm going to do is i need to adjust the size to fit exactly how i want it to look like so that's what you need to do either you increase or decrease the size but most times it's going to be like to increase it so that you know where exactly the other part of the image is going to go the next thing you want to do is you bring in your transparent background image but it's not going to stay yet because you need to make sure that you lock the image first just adjust the size and adjust the size of your new transparent image that you just included on the canvas so while adjusting it the next thing you want to do is you want to cut out the excess part and ensure that it is fitted on the image inside the frame so after doing that the next thing you want to do is you want to group them together first unlock and then select everything to group but before we do that we're going to we're going to select the border that we tried to we created and made we're going to use that we're going to change the color and also adjust the position so changing the color now and adjusting the position after doing that just reduce the transparency and group them together after grouping together they're done now i just want to add some few designs to this i just want it to look a bit different so you can just follow through with this process or you do something else currently i am using the rectangle i duplicated them to create four different rectangles so that i can use it to create a kind of brick below the design so we have some bricks there four of them and then the next thing i'm trying to do now is i'm trying to create a logo that or uh, yeah we can say it's it's going to act as the logo for this particular design you can come up with any idea especially when you're working with elements especially when you're working with elements the next thing you want to do is just adjust it after adjusting group them together and position it to wherever you want to position your logo so for some designs you might not need a logo the next thing i want to do now is add text to the logo and make it look really um logo-ish <laughs> so after doing that i'll be adding some text to this particular design so it looks like a finished product just follow through with my process if you really want to do this and you can see one or two other tricks that you can use adjust the size make sure that you're using the right font and also ensuring that you are positioning your text or your contents in a very very unique and fine way so just adjust the size you can work with any type of content you want and the next thing i'm going to do is i will just be adjusting the image just so it fits however i want i'm going to pick up some graphics that i would be using to edit my page so it's not just a bare background okay so always remember that ctrl d 
can be used to duplicate and the next thing you want to do is you want to position everything you want it to sit well and when you're done with all these designs the next thing you are going to do is download you can see different options on how you can either post directly to your social media or download to your system so i'm downloading now and that's it for this video thank you for watching see you in my next video bye <laughs>